Who would you say holds the upper hand? <laughs> um, well, they're both very even teams, you'd have to say that, and I think that showed last year. And these games, although <clears throat> we've been fortunate to get away with it in the last few years, uh, the score, I think, belies the true nature of the game and just how tough it was last year in particular. Um, so, you know, and the conditions are obviously going to be tough too. So it's a good game. I've got confidence in our preparation, our team, but um, we've got a huge respect for the Cougars. Stephen, um, I guess you can't take too much sort of, you know, momentum into these one-off tests, but um, you guys, you've had the wood on the, the Aussies in uh, recent encounters. Uh, who would you say has the edge? <laughs> I think that's been answered. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, from our point of view, um, you know, we certainly take some, um, you know, positive parts out, you know, from last from last year. But um, again, it's a it's a different team. You know, Australia have some key personnel returning, and uh, you know, so that makes a, a, a huge difference. But um, you know, we know if we if we take our best game, bring our best game to the stadium tomorrow, then you know we give ourselves a great opportunity, and and that's how we've prepared all week. And um, you know, I'm super confident that you know that's what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Mike. Cam, uh, tomorrow night, this will be the uh, 20th time you'll run out for the Kangaroos and you'll join a select group of players to do so. Um, how special is that in your eyes, this milestone? Yeah, it's, um, I, I actually didn't realise the uh, significance of tomorrow night's match for myself personally. Um, getting the opportunity to, to captain the, the team uh, 20 times. But, uh, yeah, look, obviously, you know, it's going to be... A very proud moment, as is every other game that I get to, to wear the green and gold jersey. Um, get to join a, a few uh, special names in that group. Uh, one of the guys are sitting here today, Wally Lewis. So, um, and a few of those guys were, were, were people that I looked up to as, as footballers and wanted to be like when I was a young fellow. So, um, yeah, obviously, you know, very proud to, to get that opportunity. But, um, yeah, I think for myself, it's just it's not about counting numbers or how many matches we played. It's about performing well, and and yeah, you know, the side were very disappointed with the result of last year's Four Nations tournament. Um, yeah, you know, we we went into that tournament with high expectations on ourselves, and um, I don't think we achieved those. So um, yeah, you know, we're not trying to make up for that result last year, but we want to go out and play our best football tomorrow night. Simon, mate, it's always special, uh, I guess, leading the Kiwis out for an ANZAC test, but. Tomorrow night, it's, a, it's the centenary of uh, Anzac. Just how much pride do you take in that? <clears throat> yeah, it's always um, obviously a huge honour to uh, represent your country in any match. Um, you know, it's special to be playing in the Anzac Test. Uh, you know, it's such quality of, of depth uh, in New Zealand Rugby League these days that um, you never take it for granted being in the side. And Like you said, it is extra special with the 100 years of, um, of Gallipoli. Um, Obviously had a nice lunch and, you know, yesterday and, and heard a few stories on that and um, a, a great time time to reflect I guess. Uh, I'm sure they have all the formalities before the game and I guess it's up to us two teams to um, to put on a good show. Steve, we'll move on to you mate. Um, obviously the Kiwi Ferns, they scored late down in the gong. Um, despite the loss, what do you take out of it and do you feel you guys can turn that around tomorrow mate? Oh, I think we can definitely turn it around. It's only you know, the, since I've been involved, the games have been really, really tight. Um, there's not been more than a couple of points in it each time, the nines and the, the tests match in Wollongong. So uh, we've had a really good week this week, so hopefully that preparation will we'll see us come up with a win on Friday. Tom, mate. Alan, this will be your first match in charge of the uh, Kiwi Ferns, mate. Have you changed much since uh, joining or have you had much time to do so, mate? Oh, we've, had, we've had a really good week and, um, and we're really pleased with our preparation um, and no, I haven't done too much and we, we just want to do the little things properly and, and hopefully get the result we want. You know, it was a, we're very lucky to get the way with the last test so um, we'd take that again uh, tomorrow night too. So um, it'll, it'll be a great game um, and I think it's a great way of showcasing the women's game. And Laura, right down the end there finally, uh, you were part of the uh, congregation that went down to the War Memorial last weekend. Um, playing in a match like this, how sort of special is that for you? Yeah, no, it's, um, it's a huge honour uh, and a privilege to just alone be a part of this event. Um, you know, another way for us to expose the women's game and um, yeah, no, it's just a great opportunity for us. Steph, last but not least, 
Suncorp Stadium, Friday night footy, the curtain raiser between uh, the Aussies and the Kiwis. How good? To be honest, I don't think it gets any better than what it's going to be like tomorrow night, even if it is raining. Um, it's a very big deal for us, for us girls, so we're looking forward to it. We can't wait. That's enough from me, guys. I'll open up to the floor. Guys, the media. Um, oh look, I don't know if we've got a better game plan. I'm not too sure what they've been talking about in their camp. So um, I just think you know, wet weather football and and I guess playing test match football, you, you try and play basic game plans. Um, it's not about who's got the most extravagant plays or um, you know, the... Uh, yeah, the most difficult game plans. I think it's whoever holds onto the ball the best and puts pressure on the opposition and has has good field position is going to win the game. Um, you know, I think uh, we learnt last year when we played at the same venue that if you don't hold onto the ball and have a good attitude towards your defence, you're going to struggle. And the Kiwis did exactly that against us, and that's why they put on a good score. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, if the conditions don't improve, which you know, they're not meant to, then yeah, we just need to be smart with our game and hold on to the ball. Try not to invite the Kiwis down our end because yeah, you know, they're a uh, they're a very dangerous side when they when they have field position and when they have momentum. Um, I don't think we uh, we take pride in every Test match we play. Um, it's not just about you know, continue, continuing a run of um, victories in mid mid year test matches, it's it's trying to play your very best you can every time you pull on the green and gold. Um, yeah, we've got a great record at um, in these um, mid year test matches, but um, you know that's not part of our motivation or our preparation for these games. You know, we don't sit down and and say let's let's keep this record going. Um, yeah, we go into every test match trying to play the very best we can and, and trying to get a victory every time. Um, and on the flip side, you know, I think uh, we heard during the week that it's been a long time since New Zealand have won three consecutive games against us and, and I don't think any players were aware of that and, and that hasn't been spoken about it either, you know. So um, I'm sure in the back of everyone's mind we don't want that to happen, but it's not, it's not used as any motivation tool for us. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I guess, you know, particularly with guys um, you know, like Matty Scott, Jonathan Thurston, um, James, James Tamo, and it's good to have those old, old faces back. Um, but I think the, the Kiwi boys, they've got a stronger squad than what they had in the Four Nations also. Um, so, you know, we're not, we're not thinking, well, we've got some senior players back or more experienced guys back. It's, it's going to be a different story to last year. You know, we're, we're playing against a very good side. Of course, it helps having those experienced guys in the team, given it's a short preparation. You know, a few of our guys played on Sunday. It's been you know limited preparation for those guys. It's only been a couple of runs. Um, you know, mainly, you know, it was today was our, our main session to get uh, everything sorted. But um, I guess in that sense, it's great. But um, we can't rely on, rely on that um, to give us a good performance. You know, we all got to go out and play well. Oh, they're two different things, you know, as Camp said, <laughs> we're in camp Sunday night, guys have played Sunday and on Saturday, a lot of the guys, so preparation is basically getting together. You, you spend as much time fitting your uniform and going to lunches and doing media than you do on the training park, but that's, that's part of the week, we understand that, whereas the tournament's a lot different to that, you get more time with them over a period of time, so, but, um, same, but the same goes for Steve and his side, so... You know, we're, we, we're not complaining about that or anything like that. It's, a, um, it's always been a short week. We've been involved in many years. So it's just, as Cameron was saying, you get the fundamentals right, get the language right, particularly with four debutantes, uh, to make sure they know what's going on. And then um, you get out and play your best football. Yeah, 
I think the day's going to come where a few of our older boys start um, leaving the Australian side, there's no doubt. Um, you know, unfortunately, you can't go on forever. We'd all love to, but that's not going to happen. Um, I think Corey's probably being very modest there too. You know, he, I think he's playing the best football of his, of his career you know, at, at the ripe old age of uh, 33. So um, I, I just think, you know, for myself and a lot of the other boys, we don't think about age. You know, age is not a factor in, in rugby league. I think if you're playing good football and um, you deserve to be picked in representative teams, then you should be there. You know, if, if, if there's someone else better, then those, those, those guys should be there as well. Um, but there's no doubt, you know, you know, we've got a few guys that are up around the 30-year-old mark in, in our team. Um, but you look at those guys and they're playing well. You know, everyone's saying that Jonathan Thurston's the best player in the game at the moment. You know, he's, 30, he's 32. Um, so really, age is, is not a uh, consideration when I think it comes to the selection. I think if, if you're playing well, then you should be there. No, I think um, I spoke to Hojo and uh, he wasn't in a position to have stretched right out. He's on, even with the Bronx, he's, um, he's on modified training and in a short week, we just couldn't go with that. No. Hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I you know, <clears throat> I know there's, there's at times criticism of the international game, but um, I can guarantee you every every player that gets the opportunity to represent their country, Australia, New Zealand, Samoa, Fiji, you know, PNG, whoever it is, um, you know, it's it's a very proud moment. It's a it's a special moment for yourself, for your family, for your friends, everyone that's been involved in your career from when you've started playing NRL or when you're playing junior rugby league. Um, They've all had a part in, in getting to you, getting you in that position, um, and you know this is the only time we're going to be playing a Test match Australia in, in the next 12 months. So we want to make the very most of it, and um, yeah, the, you know, these are special times. You know, you're playing in great stadiums, at great venues, in front of big crowds, representing your whole nation. It's um, it's why you play the game. So. You know, these are no different to any other representative games that you play, like State of Origin, even though it's got a, a huge profile. Um, yeah, representing your country is it's the biggest thing you can do in, in the game. Yeah, I guess... Um yeah, any test win against Aussie is, is pretty special. It's um, you know, obviously hasn't ha happened too often over over a period of time, and um, you know really enjoyed the success last year. And I guess more so for us going into this test is not getting caught up on on the result too much. Of course, you know we want to win as as do Australia. It's about uh, I guess what we're going to bring to the table. Um, you know, Stephen's already alluded to if we you know play a great game of footy to our potential, then. You know, we give ourselves a chance to do that, um, yeah, but we've got to get that job done first. Uh, it'd be nice to get the result, but um, yeah. it's going to be a great challenge. Yeah, Simon, uh, Kiwis, I guess, expect that rugby team to be number one in the world. If you can keep the chance of success going, what would be the rank of the top nation? I guess not so much rank the top nation, um, more just, I guess, bring, I guess, success to the to the Kiwi jersey, um, any time you know, we play well um, you know, for the Kiwis or Warriors wise, it definitely brings the profile of rugby league up a lot more in New Zealand where it is dominated by rugby union. So um, I think it's great for international rugby league in general. Um, you know, I think uh, you saw Samoa play last year in the Four Nations. You know, we've got the more teams playing on Saturday. Um, to bring that profile up of international rugby league that any time you know, either country has success, you know, there's going to be a lot more profile around it. No. No.
It, cer it certainly, the preparation certainly ran, uh, has run you know, fairly smoothly um, this week, but in fairness, I, I thought it... Um, and I mean, Simon was part of, you know, part of the last year's Anzac Day test, and I thought, you know, given um, the players that we had out, it ran fairly smoothly that week too, to be fair, but um, it was more the hoopla around players that were, that were left out that was causing, causing the uh, grief. But um, no, I mean, you know, it certainly has helped that you know, there's been a consistency of, of selection in terms of uh, the guys that you know, we have in the group this, um, this time around. Um, yeah, I guess with your second question, um, you know, I guess what happened last year, um, you know, I guess it can't be taken away from us or, or changed, you know, that's part of history, but um, you know, for us as a group, you know, it doesn't really have too much effect on, on this game. Um, yeah, there was guys that were in that team last year, but there's also new guys. Um, this is a new challenge. Um, Australia's got a different team. So you don't really rely on past results too much. It's, it's definitely a new challenge for us and uh, in a game that we've previously not done too well in. Um, first question? Where were they? Yeah, you know, both teams got to play in it. So I guess um, you know, for us, you know, simple things. Um, hold on to the footy. Um, limit their time on our trial line, as Cameron alluded to. Um, both teams playing the, you know, on the same field. So I guess um, whoever can handle it the best, um, should fare better for the result. Yeah, no, he trained, uh, he trained today. I uh, rang him a half hour late on Monday, so he'd already had an injection in his foot, which uh, meant he couldn't train on Tuesday, so he had a run today and um, trained really well. Um, and the, you know, the halves of that was the other question, part of the question, wasn't it? The halves are going pretty good. Is that what you asked? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, no, he's going great. <laughs> They're going pretty good too. Yeah, um, lucky enough for us girls, we've got a major sponsor now, Harvey Norman, uh, which is a really big deal. Obviously, we've never had a major sponsor or anyone that's really wanted to get behind us. Um, so, yeah, this week, um, just even getting to do all the things that the, the boys get to do, like go to the functions and have people actually... Um, care about what we're doing is um, a, a really, really big deal for us girls and we're looking forward to Friday night and hopefully get a win and repay everyone that's done everything for us this week. Oh, well, I know, you know, certainly as a servant, you know, for us, for the Kiwi Jumper, I mean, he was, uh, you know, part of uh, 2008 when we, you know, at the stadium, we were, um, we were fortunate enough to, to win the World Cup and, um, you know, Lance is, you know, uh, yeah, he's been a wonderful servant for us and it's a, um, it's a real shame that, um, that his career has, you know, has ended, you know, if it's because of, you know, the concussion issues, but... Um, you know, he's always been wonderful for us, and I know you know Simon. He played with Simon at the Warriors too, so um, he had a wonderful career um, with the with the Auckland Warriors too. Sorry, is that to me? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> we're having a shocker up here, aren't we? Um, sorry, say again. Tim. Oh look! At the moment, um, you pick you pick a team on form, as Cameron said. Don't worry about age; you worry about form, and I think they're all in form. And then we worry with only a one-off test this year. I'm not worried about next year. Yeah. 
I'm just worried about this week, you know, so I think that um, we're not, uh, there has been talk about it, I've, I've raised it too, obviously, it's, it's obvious, uh, the age of our spine compared to the age of, say, the New Zealand spine, for instance, um, that needs to be addressed for the next World Cup, not necessarily this week, yeah. Oh, look, I'm the same as the players. We'll worry about this game this week. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, alongside the, the Australian captain, he's you know certainly um, you know one of the premier hookers of you know of the competition. You know, so. Um, you know he's he's been a big part of our team for you know for a long time. He's you know played 30 odd tests and he's got a great deal of experience. He's a you know he's a he's a world class player and um, he's he's very important for our group. He's uh, he's a part of the leadership leadership group also. So he's a lot to offer the off the young guys around him. Um, but no, he's a, he's important to our team. Oh, I think I think everyone has you know passion for the game. Um, he's just probably got a different way of showing it. What is that? <laughs> you watch the hucker, don't you? <laughs> well, again, that's just that's his energy. You know, that's how he expresses himself. And um, you know, Isaac, um, we call him Bully. That's you know, that's um, yeah, that's how he goes about his work. He does. He he loves his he loves his game and. Um, um, he loves being at the front of the hucker, so um, you'll see some of that passion tomorrow night. How does he feel about playing the Aussies? Do you know, do you know they've got any particular view on squaring off against the Australians particularly? Well, I mean, they're a, you know they're a, they're a challenge every time we play them. So um, you know we like to measure ourselves against the, you know every week as you know, top class sportsmen. I'm sure um, the boys like to measure themselves against the best, and you know. And Isaac's no different, so um, yeah, he loves playing them. And Cameron, um, just a question for you about what's he like as a player? Oh, look, I th he's a he's a wonderful player and has been for a long time now. I think over the last you know, couple of years, I think he's matured a lot um, as a person and as a footballer. I think he's moved into a, a more of a leadership role within the, the Rabbitohs um, organisation and the Kiwis team. Um, and, you know, yeah, the question of passion, I think, you know, the way he shows that is with his actions, whether it's, you know, leading a huck or, or, you know, the way he plays his football, he's, um, he throws himself into everything, you know, whether, whether he's got the football or not, um, you know, he's involved in, in every part of the Kiwis game. So I, I think he's just, he's great for our, our sport I think he's great for the teams that he's involved in, and yeah, like it's it's always it's always nice to play against him. He's a, he's a nice he's a nice guy too. Once the once the game's over, he comes over and has a has a chat to you after the match and shake your hand and say well done either way, whether it's a win or a loss. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he is. Yeah, look, he's he's a quality player. That's why he's the number nine for the Kiwis, and um, um, yeah, I think that you know the strongest aspect of his game is his, his running ability. That's what I think makes him a lot different to a lot of the dummy halves going around at the moment is, you know, his strong running game. He's got great speed and great power. So, um, yeah, he can be quite tricky at times, yeah. Guys, we'll just take one more question from you, mate, in the black. No, no, not it. No, no more than normal. I mean, football is a pressure game. You know, you're, you're playing, you're representing uh, Australia and, and the code here in Australia, and we're, we're playing a very, very good side, a champion side. Um, there's always pressure. It's how you handle it. That's that's the difference. And you know, experience helps. But if I wasn't nervous, <laughs> I'd be pretty disappointed in myself, to be quite honest. Sorry, mate. Yep. Um, nothing really has changed in the sense that you know I'm you know f from a perspective is trying to you know get the team as best prepared you know to perform 
you know, to their ability tomorrow night, and, and you know, so that's always, you know, that's always been my, my focus. Um, this week, 12 months ago, you know, six months ago, um, you know, October, November, it, it's a, you know, my role is, you know, making sure that I get the side to turn up tomorrow to, to you know, perform the best they can, and um, so from that perspective, you know, not not a great deal has changed.